Today I'm messing about with these uh, little power supplies, mostly because I'm trying to get this uh, CCTV camera uh, working. Now, polarity is extremely important because you, if you reverse the positive and the negative, you can very well uh, destroy the equipment that you're trying to work. And uh, they do come, normally, with one of these little connectors on the end called a uh, barrel jack. Normally, the outer of the jack is negative and uh, the inside is the positive. But uh, there are no real uh, enforced industry standards. Uh, so unless you know which is which, you just can't be sure. Now, normally, the wire with the uh, white trace in it or the white dotted line as in that one the white dotted line the uh, positive is the one with the dots so that's an indicator but not absolutely uh, foolproof and if you're anything like me you will end up with buckets full of these things because uh, I just don't like throwing things away and the older ones which have a bit of weight about them are well worth keeping because they actually have a transformer in and they are the real deal. Uh, they no longer make them. Uh, they're certainly not allowed to sell them in the UK with uh, small uh, domestic items. And uh, these things um, do the same job. They're called uh, switching power supplies. Uh, and they're a little electronic gizmo. But uh, there we are. Now, uh, most of these things have a little symbol on the back. And the symbol relates to the jack. And the C shape the, relates to the uh, outer part of the jack, the barrel, and the dot in the middle relates obviously to the pin. So if there's a positive on the pin, it means the centre is positive. And uh, if there's a negative on the other side, well, obviously that's the way it is. Sometimes you see a requirement uh, for this symbol. The positive means that it's a positive pin, positive center, and uh, negative vice versa. And very occasionally, as on this one, there's actually a little diagram of uh, the jack on the end. Again, on this one, it shows the positive being the pin in the center. Now, somebody a while ago uh, suggested to me that uh, the pins which have uh, a black plastic tip to the barrel, have a negative barrel, and the coloured ones uh, are a positive uh, tip to the barrel. But that's not so. Just as with this one here, as you can see, the symbol uh, has a positive uh, centre, uh, but there's a, a yellow ring around the uh, jack. Now this test can be done without a multimeter, uh, but a multimeter is certainly the easiest way to go. If you put the positive of the multimeter up the inside of the jack, sometimes you need a little pin to extend it, but uh, then touch the negative onto the barrel. You can see that we're getting 18 volts there. It's supposed to be 12, uh, so that's a handy thing to know. But you can see that is a positive internal because if we switch the probes around you can see there's a little minus a negative in front of the uh, numbers if you don't have a multimeter uh, there is a simple backyard test if you dip the wires into some water after a short while, you should get bubbles appearing on the negative. And it does take uh, half a minute or so. Now I don't know whether you can see them, but it's certainly now effervescing around the negative uh, wire. It's always the negative that you get the bubbles on. And uh, handy little backyard test this. 
and it works a lot quicker with hot water than it does with cold water. So you've established the uh, polarity of the wires or the jack on your power supply. Uh, you then need to know the polarity of the uh, appliance that you're trying to run. And if there is no indication on the uh, casing, the things get a little bit more difficult. Uh, it's normally the positive to the inside, but uh, that's not infallible. So if you crack the thing open, you can very often find that it tells you on the PCB negative and positive. So then you can do a uh, continuity test from the positive back to the centre of the plug. But whoa, whoa, hold on there. If you use your multimeter on uh, continuity or on ohms, and you happen to press it on the wrong terminal, what you could be doing is putting a charge through your uh, appliance. And if you get the polarity wrong, that could just be enough to uh, upset the thing or even kill it. And if you really know what you're doing, you can and understand circuits. Uh, you can look and see which way around the capacitors and uh, diodes and things are and work it out from there. But I'm assuming that if you're watching this uh, video, uh, you don't know that. Unfortunately, on this little one here, there is no uh, indication of which wire is what. So, I'm going to clip the wire, then do the test, and then when I've established uh, the polarity, I'm going to solder the wire back on. I'm not going to show you that, I'm just telling you that's what I'm going to do.